I figured it out, by the way. And, you know, just so we're talking about the same thing. Time travel. What if time travel was possible? What will we do with it? What opportunities will it open up? What will be the dangers? I want to imagine a scenario where I was able to travel back to 1897, right before the Zionist Congressional meeting happened, and eliminate Theodor Herzl, the founder. Then, come back to a different world where Palestine was free. Hundreds of thousands of lives are spared. Children are not traumatized. Ancient buildings are not filled with bullet holes. No soldiers roaming the streets and no curfews. The ancient cities are prosperous and Palestine is one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world. The place where Christ and so many other prophets were born was at rest. The place where all faiths lived together was finally in peace. Ever since 1985, when I watched Back to the Future, Hollywood has been teasing my imagination. With all the movies coming out in the past few decades, I can't help but toy with the idea. The idea that we might be able to influence the present by changing something in the past is something incredible, even scary if you think about it. Albert Einstein wrote the theories of special relativity and general relativity, where he proves that time and space are related. He also proved that time moves slower in outer space, especially when objects are traveling at high speeds close to the speed of light. So in theory, five years in space can equal 50 years here on Earth. Scientists haven't been able to prove this theory because no one has been able to travel at the speed of light yet. I think this is why so many movies were made about time travel. Perhaps they were simply waiting for this to happen. And that's true for me as well. I'm making this video to imagine the impact of changing a major event in the past that affected the lives of millions of people all around the world. So what do I choose? Where do I begin? How can't I be selfish with this? How do I play God with the fate of so many people? Do I stop the world wars? Do I stop entire civilizations from being wiped out? Do I start from the beginning or the end? Like I said, I can't help but be selfish with this. But at the same time, I'm choosing something that is dear to millions. I'm choosing a place that is cherished by people of different faiths and races. A historical land that has been noticed by civilizations all around the world and throughout history. I'm choosing Palestine place of my origins. In the late 1800s, the Middle East and Palestine were ruled by the Ottoman Empire. In 1897, the Zionist movement formed the first ever Congress and decided, after a long debate, to make the land of Palestine their home, as promised by the Messiah in the Old Testament. In 1901, Sultan Abdul Hamid II refused to sell Palestine to the Zionists, famously saying, I won't sell anything, not even an inch of this territory, because this country does not belong to me, but to all Ottomans. My people won these lands with their blood. We give what we have the way we got it in the first place. The next year, Herzl repeated his offer and got the same response from the Sultan. In 1917, Britain took over Palestine after defeating the Ottomans. In the same year, Arthur Balfour, the British Foreign Secretary, issued the famous Balfour Declaration, promising Palestinian lands to Jewish minorities. This was addressed to Walter Rothschild, who was a prominent Jewish leader in the Zionist community. The same Rothschild family that are said to control the World Bank today. The second possible scenario in time travel would be if I started all over, traveled in the past, 
eliminated Theodore Herzl, but instead of coming back to a different and better Palestine, I returned to find nothing has changed. I traveled to the past and returned, but instead of changing our reality, a new alternate reality was created, in a different parallel dimension. Hopefully, things are fine there. For those of you who believe in the multiverse, you would probably find this interesting or even agree. And personally, I do believe the multiverse exists. Our universe is too complicated for it not to. In 1918, the Ottomans lost World War I. Britain took over several other neighboring Arab countries with the help of other European countries such as France and Portugal. The boundaries and borders set at that time still mostly exist till today, a hundred years later. In 1926, the Imperial Conference of the British Empire declared two separate states equally subordinate to the British Commonwealth in the lands of Palestine. In 1948, the State of Israel was officially declared. And in 1967, the rest of Palestine was lost from Palestinians. The third possible scenario has to do with faith where everything is inevitable. I am inevitable. I start all over, travel in the past, eliminate Theodore Herzl, and Palestinians' fate to be occupied is definite, with no parallel universe and no change of reality. <laughs> The inevitability of something is the fact that it is certain to happen and cannot be prevented or avoided. Many people, including myself, are afraid of interfering with the natural order of things. That's why something as big as the Hadron Collider that CERN is using sounds very scary. And there are already many conspiracy theories about this. What dangers our universe faces from time travel? I honestly do not know. From a spiritual point of view, I believe that we can change our fate. I believe this can happen through the choices we make and the actions we take. On a positive note, this is what gives me hope. The idea that the only person who is responsible for my actions is me and my choices, not fate. This belief is also what keeps me striving to change and improve. Although time travel might seem like a desperate measure to change our present and future, I'm sure most of us will agree that change can happen all around us, hopefully for the better. What are your thoughts? Comment below, subscribe, like, and please share.